What's up, y'all? It's me, it's your boy, Yasmin Golden. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to correctly do Time Walker Dungeons. How to make sure that whenever you join Time Walker Dungeon Group, you have the biggest stick in here. And listen, guys, there have been a lot of misconceptions, misunderstandings with what Time Walker Dungeons are really there to do, even by the Blizzard developers. They've said this is an alt palooza, that these are for your friends, that this is for fun. Listen, fun is for casuals. Look at him. Does it look like he's having fun? No. Look at the weapons he's dual wielding Shadow Mourn and Soul First. What does that remind you of? Ice and Fire. What does that remind you of? Game of Thrones. What does that remind you of? Death. Is death fun? Not when it's happening to you. So let's take a look at what gear you're going to need to be going big dick in Time Walker Dungeons every single time. Now listen, you need to take a look at all of your different tier sets. Make sure they have some good stat bonuses. Also gems. Like if you don't have both, you don't have anything. Get the fuck out of here. Go back to Q and for LFR. For a warrior, if you're a fury warrior, you do Colossal Dragon Plate, Colossal, you know, we were talking about Big Dick, you know, some synergy going on here, and listen, you want to put Strength Gems, see I ran out of Strength Gems, I don't want to buy any more, I just put Crit Gems in there, fuck it. But either way, make sure you have your Legendary Cloak too, and make sure everything has as many gems as possible, okay, because gems do not scale down, but everything else does, alright, Shadow Morn, duh, if you don't have Shadow Morn... <laughs> Look, just turn off the fucking video, bro. All right, never mind. We're just all right. So your trinkets. Listen, I tried to do. I tried to get uh, Deathbringer's will. I didn't get it. So you can use that. I use Skull of War, okay, because it sounded really fucking cool and it had a good proc. Also, you want to be using another ring with a socket in it, as well as your legendary ring. I don't have that yet. Fucking see me. Don't. All right, never mind. Don't talk about that. So you want to make sure your boots have two sockets, okay? Your shoulders, if you have the Spalder's Manoroth, the Test of Manoroth, which I don't have, but hypothetically, you would use those. Also, make sure your belt has three sockets. Make sure your glove has one socket. Listen, guys, this is so important. And listen, see, this is the best part. Is see, like, Time Walker Dungeons give you a chance to where you are on the same playing field. It is a fair fight, which you should always avoid, by the way. It is a fair fight that you can still outperform and outsucceed everybody else around you. It's like, whenever you're doing a Time Walker Dungeon, you're not only beating people in the past or currently. You're not only beating them currently, but you're beating them in the past with previous, uh, previous dungeons. It's just like um like trans dimensional dominance. Okay, see that? See him? See that little spin around I did? That's some uh that's some like uh some foreplay for the blade storms that are about to fucking happen in this video. Now make sure also that you have your flask, you have your rune, you have your food buff. Okay, I did more to gear up for this than I did to kill a progression boss, to kill heroic Archimon. I don't give a fuck about that. The damage meter is all that counts. Okay, so what you want to do is make sure that you pull everything before the tank. Okay, because that also establishes and you kill it because if you don't kill it, then you just fucking... Right, so make sure that you actually kill it, and then you're gonna be good to go. It's like you, as I said, you're like Garrosh Hellscream going through time. Go, you're going through time, interdimensional badass, and the only thing that can really stop you is, of course, a green orc with plot armor. But besides that, you are just invincible, okay? You, I mean, like, got fucking Gorhal. Okay, I don't have Gorhal. You Shadow Mourn, okay? Again, and your second weapon, all right, by the way, everything scales down to 160, so you can use, um, what is it, not Kel'Thuzad, uh, Kill Jaden weapons since they're 164, but if you do that, you're probably a fucking idiot because you don't have Sulphurus or you don't have Shadowmorn, okay? Now, I just want to take you, I mean, you guys look, just look real closely. Watch real closely as I do this pull, okay? I'm going to do a lot of fucking DPS. All right, watch. Watch. Look at that. Look at those fucking numbers. Look at those numbers right there. Oh, yes. 73, 73% damage. What is that? 24k DPS. What what, the, what what expansion is this? Is like, that, that, that is good for, for BRF. Like, people in BRF don't even do that much DPS. And again, sometimes, like, as a good rule, how you know, how you know that you are doing good as a DPS is if you die, okay? If you pull aggro and you die, all right? That means that you are obviously doing your job correctly. Now, for single target DPS as a warrior, make sure you also use your potion because, again, I mean, like, I mean, okay, yeah, I guess you can do this all the time, but you really only want to have to do it once, and you want to make sure that you do this too, by the way. And as I said before, if you don't have the gear to do this, don't even queue Time Walker. You do not even deserve the welfare box that they give you because, by the way, if you didn't know, if you complete five times, Time Walker Dungeons, you get a normal Hellfire Citadel cache that is going to guaranteed contain garbage that you can't use. But just in case it doesn't, yo, as I said, two legendaries minimum, all right? And you want to also have your legendary ring. So, like, you want to have your cloak, you want to have your ring. And if you're a hunter, you better not be using that fucking bow because you are an idiot if you're using that bow. So, anyway, guys, I want to make sure that you all know this. So, again, prioritize. Get everything enchanted. Get it gemmed. You know, spend all your money on this because there's nothing else worth spending your money on except for maybe the magic rooster mount. Okay, that like those two things, and that's it. Okay, that's that's all you need. And so anyway, guys, I want to do a quick video. Make sure that you guys 
are 100%, 100, and didn't see that, by the way, see what I just did? I pulled extra trash so I could use and, and show off and watch. I'm going to wreck Blade Storm and kill everything, okay? And if I didn't do that, sometimes what happens, see, y'all didn't see us in the video, but I get kicked out of the group for wiping everybody. And if you do a video like this, cut those out. Anyway, so make sure that if you are going to pull a bunch of extra shit that you're able to kill it. Because if you can't kill it and then you pull a bunch of extra shit, it's, it's embarrassing for everybody. Because then you have to run back and it's like the walk of shame. And like, again, you know, we're talking about, uh, what do you call it? Game of Thrones, y'all know what that is. But anyway, so listen. This is what you need to do. Make sure you have as many gems. Make sure you have as many enchants, okay? You can either get that Shaw Enchanted Gem if you have done the Legendary Cloak. Use your... Le if you don't have your Legendary Cloak, if you vendored that... Alright, I wouldn't blame you because, you know, like PTSD with like uh, Pandari and everything. But look, listen, guys. Listen. This is what you need to know. Look, look, look at those numbers. Look at them. Oh, my God. How much GPS am I doing? What's that? What's, what's that number? Seven... Seven... Seventeen... No... 16,000. Oh my god. Look at that. What, what expansion is this? See, listen. Like, I need to show you guys. I'm going to show you guys some other more in-depth tips. But listen. You don't even need them. This is all it takes. And that's why we're going to cut the video right now. This is all you need to know. And so hopefully you know it. Now get out there and just make sure that you have whatever group that you join. Whatever group that you join, you have the biggest stick in there. And so listen, guys. That's pretty much all I got. Thanks for watching. And like, comment, subscribe.